And joining me for real today, for real guys, is mm. Cosmic Skeptic. Now, for those of you who are just catching up, Cosmic Skeptic uh, was planned to be guest for this week. Um, but long story short, I fucked up. And I thought it was going to be guest last week. And we even messaged each other. We said, hey, ready for this week? And Alex was like, yeah. And uh, not realizing that I had completely missed the mark there. But that's okay. He's on this week and he's willing to do it again. If you remember last time we had a bit of audio issues. So he has graciously decided to join us again to get a better episode. Cosmic Skeptic Alex O'Connor. How's it going, dude? It's going well. I hope everyone can hear me properly this time. And if they can't, then we'll watch the recording back because I'll actually record it on my end this time because that would have been a clever idea. Right. You know, had, had I, and had I not been just sat in my boxes on my computer and about to go to sleep because I had to be up to go to Cambridge the next day, then I probably would have still done the show. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was I know you would have. It's the it's, time zones and just one yeah. in the morning, man. It's one. <laughs> of the, you know, the, the, I, I just, I, I got a taxi over here and, and every single time I do something like this, a taxi guy kind of like, where are you going? I tell them, and they're like, what, what the hell are you doing this time of night? And and yeah. you have this awkward conversation of trying to explain to some old person from another generation what a YouTuber is and why <laughs> right. you have to be up at this time in the morning. But, like, oh, you make money off that stuff? It's like, yeah, you, yeah. you tell them what Patreon is, and they don't know what it is. Yeah, I've and been it, and it's the And it's the only job in the world where people will, it, it's like, if, if someone meets someone and, and they say, yeah, I'm a doctor, it, imagine if the first question a doctor got asked was, oh, really? I, do you make how much do you make? I mean, how right. much do you make per, per surgery? How much how much do you make when you it's like but, but as a YouTuber for some reason it's the one question that people feel like they can ask willy nilly. It's it's right. the first thing that comes out of people's mouth. How and the other money? thing how, too how is how much do you make? What's your salary? Yeah, for sure. I don't and I don't do this full time, but I know the people I know plenty of people who do do this full time, and uh, I think people don't realize how much effort it really is to mm -hmm. like keep up with the channel, keeping up with your metrics, you know, um, doing the editing, doing the filming, doing the scripting, you know, all the stuff that goes into this stuff. I mean, people think that you just film something and you just slap it on YouTube, and then like that's just that's not how it is anymore. You know, like maybe in 2007, right? But uh, I mean, there's thumbnails, there's, you know, th titles and stuff, and there's tags and key logs and, yep. you know, all kinds of stuff. It's just not the same. Yeah. Oh, but, but, you know, I can't, I, I can't say like it's not fun. Like I enjoy doing it, but it, it, it's oh, a little sure. work. But, you know, I, I, I justify it by saying that any money that I make, uh, goes but i mean look i'm sat here in this like office space with a fancy mic and a mixer and everything and it, it's like that's where that's where it's all gone that that's yeah, it's like yeah, yeah I, I make money from this but well i don't really make money from this i, I just kind of sure. i i recirculate it's the great yeah. circle of life uh, of youtube yeah. And this particular show, for those of you who don't know, is uh, funded from the Atheist Community of Austin and stuff. So all the Patreon that goes to here, it doesn't go to me. It goes to making this show and other stuff here better. So yeah, I feel the same way. I feel like I'm contributing something positively to a community and stuff, and um, I'm, I'm helping to make the world a better place somehow. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, even if you do make money off of YouTube, like, I mean, there is, I mean, I think you should deserve to pay for what, you know, the work that you do. And some people don't really get that. I think, I mean, there's definitely, there's some content, there's some content creators out there where it's like, hmm, I wish you didn't make as much as you did. But, well, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I can hardly complain. Also, yeah. I, I, it's not like all the money that I make goes exactly back into YouTube. It's like, yeah, I, sure. I, I have dinner and I, I, I eat out with friends and I go for a drink. But it's like, yeah. obviously, I need to live. So right. if YouTube wasn't providing that for me, then I'd go and get a job, which is fine. But yeah. it just means I'd have less time to be doing this. So right. and especially being at uni, I wouldn't have any time to do this. So it's like, sure. yeah, the money that you're giving me might be going to like my lifestyle, which isn't technically what you want to support. But because I'd need to do a job to do that anyway, you give right. you're providing me the time. So you are still supporting the channel, even if you're just paying for me to go and have a Thatcher's Gold. Absolutely. Uh, at, yeah. at like eight or nine, as my when my friends go home, I say, right. no, no, I'm getting a taxi to go on Truth Wanted because it's one in the morning, and right. I'm not I'm not usual. I don't go to bed. I go and work. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. Alex O'Connor is embezzling his YouTube money towards nefarious gains. Um, it's really sad that he had to tell us right here. But yeah, no, just just living, right? Like that's what yeah. you do. Just 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 for like just basic life taxi cab. It's that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, like I, I wanted to point out in case you guys haven't seen, I don't know if you can see because of the microphone. 
I'll let you take a look at that. This is one of my Teach the Controversy shirts uh, that uh, the Teach the Controversy guys have given me that I'm wearing this week and I'll be wearing for the next couple weeks. This one is about chemtrails. It's got a plane with a flask at the top um, with chemicals coming out of it. I, I think it's great. <laughs> I like it a lot. Like I, I didn't get it quite at first. I think you have to look at it for a second in order to kind of get what's going on. Um, but uh, yeah, what, first of all, actually, Alex, how do you, what, what does it say on this shirt? Can you tell me what it says on this shirt, please? Yes, you do have to say it, please. Okay, so apparently it's it's <laughs> odd when I say controversy. Teach which... the con controversy. Contro controversy. 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 Now, I thought you were fucking with me when you said that because I have never heard that spoken by another, at least, British no. person before. Is no. that really a thing or are you just like... Yeah, I'm being totally serious. Yeah. <laughs> serious. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. No word of a lie. No, it's actually it's not really a, a I it's not a UK thing as such. Like people in the UK will say controversy, but some will say controversy. It's one of those kind of potato potato type things, which I I've never understood that expression either. Potato potato. I mean, I've never met a person in my life who says potato. I That's you true. know what? That's a good point. I don't know if I've ever met anybody that said potato either. But I do say tom tomato. Yeah. Yeah, tomato, tomato and tomato. That might be a, a more realistic one. But yeah, potato yeah. potato. I think maybe potato potato was made in response to tomato tomato. Someone was trying to make a joke, and then maybe it just kind of caught on, and then just people. Uh, maybe I just missed saying, the irony. Yeah. I also yeah. say like oftentimes instead of saying like I guess you'd say pastor to do like a kind of church leader yeah um sometimes over here it's pronounced as pastor yeah we say and well so I had, pastor i say pastor i'm from the right yeah so i i guess with the accent that works but like in the uk well, I, pastor is also like oh yeah no you because you say you say pastor to mean the food right oh you're talking about pasta see i thought you right, said so, so whatever it was yeah. the first time i was in the u.s i was having this conversation yeah. with someone talking about a a leader of the church and for like half the conversation they talk thought i was talking about some kind of weird exotic dish <laughs> because the language barrier yeah. is so so uh mild yeah it's like it, you don't think about it if you're right. if you're talking to someone who t speaks a totally different language everything you're paying attention making sure you're understanding correctly but when you're talking to an american and a brit it's like you just kind of forget that sometimes you're going to hit a word uh, but it happens. There's a language barrier. We can't yeah, communicate. That's that's weird. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, if you're from the south, you gotta say like Pastor, uh, Pastor Brown. You mm. know, over there down by the creek. You know, where like Something tin like and ten sound the same. They're both like tin. Yeah, or aluminum. How you're supposed got, to say it, right? I got tin tins. Tin yeah. tins. <laughs> Al aluminium. Thank you very I, much. So. Yeah. So, so when whenever you find that I for me, let me know. But uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep <laughs> saying it. How it's spelled, how God intended. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. anyway, so man, so uh, it hasn't been too long since the last time we talked. But like, what have you been up to, man? What kind of stuff? <laughs> right, right. Who, who yeah. was it that said, uh, if 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 English was good enough for Jesus, it's good if, enough for me? Right, English is good enough. For, yeah, that's a good one. Um, uh, I, I, I my, yeah, the joke with the Spanish teacher, right? I told my Spanish teacher if English was good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I I've been. Uh, what the, what the hell have I been? That's like, that is a fine question, I have yeah. to say. Uh, I've been trying to get back on YouTube, you know? I took yeah. a long break when I was at university uh, to focus on exams. And by focus on exams, I mean, like, act as though I was actually trying to focus on exams and then just right. going and playing poker till four in the morning instead. Sure. But the time was still allotted for that purpose. Mm. Um, so now I'm just trying to, trying to get the... <laughs> get the stats that's, back. That's, back you up. seem more you actually seem more energetic tonight than you did a few weeks ago i think because you were still doing the school stuff and stuff so i'm glad i'm glad you feel yeah, more. yeah i know. just got i just gotten out of it now i've had a bit of time to relax a bit of, i'm feeling a bit more chirpy about it all i think is is so maybe it was a blessing in disguise that the mic has uh that the mic messed up last time it's the best of all possible so, worlds best of all Something. possible worlds yeah this is the best world of like nitsian like that yeah <clears throat> for sure um so we were talking a little bit before the show. Excuse me, I think I got a bit of a cough, but um, about and you just like, coughed, kind of, coughed into your arm. I I tried to, um, you know. So um, I have a so strange reason. I'm supposed to mute this mic when that happens, but it was mm -hmm. right when I was. It was kind of my turn to speak, and so I fucked it up. But uh, that's fine. You guys can hear. It. This is the new ASMR right here. This <laughs> this gravelly voice. Um, but. We were kind of talking about um, mm. how this shirt, like the Teach the Controversy, the whole concept, like that's not a thing. Any, yeah, anyway, to bring it back yeah. to my merch, to bring it back to my, <laughs> to my merchandise. That, uh, did, I mention the, did I mention the merch? Oh, my God. Uh, you went, So we have talked about it. I will wear a Cosmic Skeptic shirt one day 
if Alex sends it to me. We'll have to figure mm. that out. But um, I don't know. Shipping happen. costs and stuff, man, it may not be worth it. You know, are these high quality goods that you're selling? I mean, it's like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe I could pay it because it's worth the advertising. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, at, at regardless, we were talking about um, the Teach the Controversy kind of movement that this kind of shirt is based off of. It, it comes from kind of uh, the public school systems uh, talking about evolution, and that's kind of been um, established for a couple of decades now. But there are a small minority of people, although I recently read a statistic that said 40 percent of Americans do believe in young earth creationism in some form, yeah. which is – Really interesting, um, but it, it's a movement of people who are who are trying to uh, say that hey, like there's other sides to this story, you know, like there's other parts to the science and stuff that you need to talk about in class. And what they really mean is, hey, you need to talk about um, <laughs> this young Earth creationist kind of model and worldview and stuff in the c public school classrooms. Which I mean, I imagine it just really isn't as big of a movement or thing in the UK, right? Not not a thing at all. Yeah, not not at all. No one cares. No one. I mean, if like. It's not a bit, I can't imagine, uh, I mean, it, it's been kind of normalized, but mm -hmm. to see the president, uh, so help me God, all, all that kind of unconstitutional nonsense, it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it doesn't, it, I don't think like, wow, that's so weird because I'm so used to it. But then I try to imagine Boris Johnson, who just um, became this Blessed Isles new prime minister. I, I'm trying to imagine him being inaugurated by the by the queen and, and putting his hand on a Bible or something. I, I can't imagine religion becoming such a talking point in, in UK politics. It's, it's just unthinkable. No one cares. I couldn't tell you what mm. Boris Johnson's religious views are, or at least what he pretends to be. I, I, I have absolutely no idea, but I could probably tell you uh, something about the religious views of most presidents and most significant uh, US uh, politicians, uh, simply because it, it, it's, for some reason, it's seen as important over there. But it's really not a thing here. And that kind of transmits into the classroom, you know. It's yeah, just I mean, not we, a thing. we've talked about this on the show before, I think. It's just uh, it's a it's a marketing thing for candidates often to talk about their religion and their religious upbringing to kind of bring in that vote. Actually, um, last week, I, I kind of went on a, a one man ramble about this uh, while we were uh, fishing for our guest Cirrus last week. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's something that is advertised as, hey, like, you, I'm your guy. I'm your church's man. You know what I mean? Um, I think we've seen that with 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 a lot of past presidencies um, as far as, or at least on the campaign trail of like, hey, this is, I, I am the next s called person. Um, and of course, there's always going to be a website somewhere mm. that's going to say like, oh, this guy is either uh, one, the Messiah, uh, two, like the new King Cyrus or something. You know, some sort of biblical prophecy is going to be fulfilled yeah. from this guy. And that's always a minority, of course, but um, it's larger here than it is pretty much anywhere else in the world, which is still pretty fascinating. Yeah, and but you can feel it culturally kind of, mm -hmm sieving through it's like the divine right of electoral college election it, it, yeah. it's like some kind of divine guided process as if as if the the perfect uh, political system divined by god almighty would involve mm -hmm. the electoral college because of the um, yeah the, because of the the total incompetency of the general public you know it, right. it's like yeah give, give me a break I mean, sure. if if like if that were if that were how it were, if it was like God were were guiding the hand of the voters, then Hillary Clinton would be bloody president. So don't get me that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, who who is God guiding here? The people is obviously not the people. Listen, it's man. definitely not the candidates. If you look at what they're saying about him, so look, Clinton. I don't know what else could it be. Look, she's part of the Bohemian Grove, right? You know, she's a Satanist. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah, right. That that's got to be it. No, no. <laughs> God just God just specifically chose. Governor Morris and was like, here, here <laughs> right. write about the Electoral College and we'll make sure that Donald Trump becomes the president so he can usher in the new era. That's right. Um, He's got a plan, man. He's got a plan. You just got to buy into it. So uh, anyway, we do have some calls here who are ready to talk say. to you. Yeah, I know. Right? Crazy. Um, are you ready? I, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I'm, I'm as ready as one can be at quarter past one in the morning. Yeah, I was going to say, you're doing really good for, for one o'clock in the morning. I have to say, I'm, I'm impressed. So well done. I'll give you a clap for that. Give it, give it, give it uh, some time. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes for sure. 